Good day everyone, this is me Teacher Koy and welcome to ESIP Math Tutorial and for today's video we will be discussing the grade 8 mathematics quarter 1 module 8 and our topic is all about systems of linear equations in two variables pero bago pong lahat if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon para po lagi po kayo updated sa lahat ng mga bong videos po natin at huwag niyo pong kalimutang i-follow ang ating Facebook page, Isip Mat Tutorial, at mag-join ng ating Facebook group, DepEd Teachers Files. And once again, our topic is Systems of Linear Equations in Two Variables. This is for the Grade 8 Mathematics, Quarter 1, Module 8. Our learning competencies is we have illustrates and graphs of systems of linear equations in two variables. Categorizes so when a given system of linear equations in two variables having graphs that are parallel, intersecting, and coinciding, and solves a system of linear equations in two variables by graphing, substitution, and elimination. And for our objectives, illustrates and graphs a system of linear equations in two variables, categorize when a given system of linear equations in two variables having graphs that are parallel, intersecting, and coinciding and solve systems of linear equations in two variables by graphing substitution and elimination. For our lesson one, we have here illustrates and graphs a system of linear equations in two variables. So once we say systems of linear equations, it means it involves two or more equations. So we have equations like x minus y is equal to seven, and 2x plus y is equal to 8 are called simultaneous linear equations or a system of linear equations. System of linear equations are, the, are consist of two or more linear equations. The solution of such equation is an ordered pair of numbers that satisfies both equation. So we have here the example. A system of linear equation has only one solution if their graph intersect. So, we have here the graph. If they intersect, so it means only one solution. And let there be no solution if their graphs do not intersect. Like this one. Hindi po sila nag-intersect. So, it means wala pong solution. And infinitely many solutions if their graphs coincide. Okay, we have here the example of the graph. So, it means nag-coincide po sila. It means infinitely many solutions. Okay, so in graphing systems of linear equations, two points are needed to make a line. Thus, we need to assign values for one variable and solve for the other in order to have a coordinate to be plotted on the Cartesian plane. So we have the steps in graphing linear equation into variables. First, we need to we need two points in its equation given. Assign a new value for x and solve for y. Or assign a value for y and solve for x. After getting the ordered pairs, plot the points obtained in each equation and connect the points and so with the second equation, graph both equations in one Cartesian plane. And for step 3, label your graph representing each of the equations in the given system of linear equations. So we have here the example. Graph the systems 2x plus y is equal to 7 and negative x plus y is equal to 1. So solution, assign any value for x. So any value for x. For example, we will let x is equal to 4 and we will let x is equal to 1. This is for the first equation. And for the second equation, we will let x is equal to 0 and we will let x is equal to 1. Okay, so to solve that one, just substitute the value of x or equation. So our equation is 2x plus y is equal to 7 when x is equal to 4. So magiging ganito, 2 times 4 plus y is equal to 7. Simplify y is equal to 7 minus 8. Saan galing si 8? Dito, 2 times 4, that is 8. Using the addition property of equality, nagiging y is equal to 7 minus 8. Then the result is y is equal to negative 1. So therefore, when x is equal to positive 4, y is negative 1. And for x is equal to positive 1, 2x plus y is equal to 7. Substitute the value of x, nagiging 2 times 1 plus y is equal to 7. 2 times 1 is 2. Using the property of equality, nagiging y is equal to 7 minus 2. Then simplify y is equal to positive 5. So when x is equal to positive 1, y is equal to positive 5. 
And for the second equation, x is equal to 0. So, substitute the value of x to our equation, negative x plus y is equal to 1. x is 0 plus y is equal to 1, therefore y is equal to 1. When x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1. And for x is equal to positive 1, we have here negative x plus y is equal to 1. Substitute the value of x positive 1. So, nagiging negative 1 plus y is equal to 1. Then using the property of equality, nagiging y is equal to 1 plus 1. So, y is equal to 2. Therefore, when x is equal to positive 1, y is equal to positive 2. Then now, we can now graph the equations. And for the first equation, we have here two, two pairs okay, of ordered pairs. So, we have positive 4 and negative 1. And we have positive 1 and positive 5. So, we have here the graph. Okay? And they intersect at 2, 3. Okay? As you can see it here in the graph. And it does not intersect sa positive 2, positive 3. Okay? There are three kinds of systems of linear equations to variables according to the number of solutions. So, first system of consistent and dependent equations. This is a system of linear equations having infinitely many solutions. Yung nag-coincide. So, system of consistent and dependent equations. And the second one is system of consistent and, dependent and independent equations. This is a system of linear equations having exactly one solution. Yung nag-intersect. Diba? Have exactly one solution. At yung isa, system of inconsistent equation, it means yung parallel. Okay? Walang solution. So, we have here the example. Example number one, graph the given system. Review yung kanina kung paano po mag-graph ng system of linear equation to variables. Will happen here is if we graph x minus y is equal to 5 and 2x minus 2y is equal to 10, nagiging ganito po yung Resulta. And based on the graph, ito po ay consistent and dependent equations. It means infinitely many solutions kasi nag-coincide yung graph nila. Okay? Then, for the second example, we have here 2x plus y is equal to 7 and negative x plus y is equal to 1. So, if we graph this one, magiging ganito po yung itsura. And this is a system of consistent and independent equations. Ibig sabihin, isa lang po yung solution because they intersect only in one point. Okay? And for the third example, given the system of linear equation 3x plus y is equal to 4 and 3x plus y is equal to 10, the result is inconsistent equation. By the way, the graph is, this one is wrong, but the graph is parallel. Okay, not this one. So, inconsistent equations. Next, still part on lesson 2, a pair of equations of the form ax plus by is equal to c when a, b, not both, 0. And we have also dx plus ey is equal to f. d and e, not both, 0, is called a system of equations in two variables. So, parang shortcut method. Kung gusto natin malaman kung yung isang System of linear equation into variables ay parallel, um, infinitely many solutions, or only one solution. So, any system of linear equation in the standard form ax plus by is equal to c or dx plus ay is equal to f. Having graph with intersecting line, if our a over d, where's our a over d? This one, a over d is not equal to b over e. Okay? So, kung ano yung value ni a, Substitute natin dito. Yung value ni D, substitute natin dito. And yung value din ni B at saka ni E. So, when A over D is not equal to B over E, so it means having graph with intersecting line. Okay? Nag-intersect line, line. Isa lang yung point of intersection. Then the second one, having graph with parallel line. If A over D, the value of A over the value of D is equal to B. Okay? B over E. Okay? And not equal to C over F. Okay? C over F. Okay? So, A over D is equal to B over E. 
but not equal to C over F. So, the value of C over the value of F. Okay? That's for the parallel line. And for the coinciding yung um, infinitely many solutions, if A over D, the value of A over D is equal to the value, value of B over A and equal to the value of C over F. So, parang shortcut method to know if the lines are intersecting, parallel, or coinciding. So, we have here the example. Determine whether each of the following systems has parallel, intersecting, and coinciding graph. x plus 2y is equal to 4 and 2x plus 4 is equal to 8. Solution, our A is 1 over 2, which is our 2 is D. Okay, 1 over 2. And our B over A is B is 2, A is 4. Okay, so 2 over 4, if we simplify that one, still 1 half. Okay, our C over F, C is 4, F is 8. So 4 over 8 or simply as 1 half. So therefore, A over D is equal to B over A and equal to C over F. Therefore, the system has coinciding line. Okay, kumbaga, infinitely many solution. Okay, so for our lesson 3, Systems of linear equations to variables can be solved using graphical method. So to find the solution graphically, graph both equations in the Cartesian coordinate plane, then find the point of intersection of the graph if it exists. So for example, solve the systems of linear equations to x plus y is equal to 7 and negative x plus y is equal to 1 by graphing. So steps in graphical method, assign the value of x, assign x value to each equation and solve for y. Yung kanina. Yung sa lesson 1 po natin. Then, our graph is this one. They intersect at point positive 2 and positive 3. So, we rarely use the graphical method because graphing equations is time-consuming. And more important, graphic results are not always precise. So, what we're going to do is we will use the substitution method. So, for example, we have here solved the system of linear equation x plus y is equal to 7 and 3x plus 2y is equal to 17 by using the substitution method. Step 1, solve the first equation in terms of x. So, x plus y is equal to 7. Gawin natin tong x is equal to 7 minus y. So, using the property of equality in terms of x, okay? So, nagiging x is equal to 7 minus y. Then, for step 2, substitute this one, okay? x is equal to 7 minus y. And the second equation and solve for y. Our second equation is 3x plus 2y is equal to 17. So, magiging 3x plus 2y is equal to 17. Substitute yung x is equal to 7 minus y. Nagiging 3 times quantity of 7 minus y plus 2y is equal to 17. Now, in terms of y na, nawala na si x. Then simplify. 3 times 7, that's 21. 3 times negative y, that is negative 3y plus 2y is equal to 17. Okay, simplify. Using the property equality, diba? Nagiging negative y is equal to negative 4. Negative y because negative 3y plus 2y, that is negative y. Then, nagiging negative 4 because 17 minus 21 if we use the property of equality. Then, we will multiply both sides by negative 1 para magiging positive yung si y. So, nagiging y is equal to positive 4. Okay. So, substitute y, yung ating value ni y, substitute sa ating equation number 1 para makuha natin si x. Okay? So, if, if you substitute the value of y, which is 4, sa equation number 1, nagiging ganito. The result is x is equal to 3. Okay? So, how, how to substitute that one? Our first equation is x plus y is equal to 7. Our y is 4, so nagiging x plus 4 is equal to 7. Then, using the proper difficulty, Add both sides by negative 4. So, nagiging x is equal to positive 3. Okay. So, to check that one, we will substitute the value of x, which is 3, and the value of y, which is 4. Okay. Both equations. So, if yung result ay okay, so it means tama po yung ginawa natin. So, our first equation, x plus y is equal to 7. Our x is 3. Our y is 4. So, 7 plus 7. Uh, no, 7 is equal to 7. So, check for the second equation, 2x plus, 3x plus 2y is equal to 17. 
the value of x is 3, the value of y is 4. Simplify, nagiging 9 plus 8 is equal to 17. Then 9 plus 8 is 17 is equal to 17. So, check. Then, we will go to elimination method. So, we have the steps. Write both equations in standard form. Ax plus by is equal to c. And then, choose and decide which variable you want to eliminate. Then, obtain an equivalent system where the coefficient of the variable you want to eliminate are additive inverses. If necessary, multiply one or both equations in the system by an n zero number. And step four, solve the equivalent system by adding the two equations. Then for step five, check the value. For our example, we have here used the elimination method to solve the systems of linear equations to variables. 3x plus y is equal to 7 and 2x minus 5y is equal to 16. First, the equation must be in standard form. Since our given equation is in standard form so no need to rewrite into standard form then step two we will eliminate variable y okay hint think of a number to be multiplied in the equation to cancel variable y so eliminate this y okay so to eliminate the variable y multiply both sides of the equation by 3x i uh, know most of the equations 3x plus y is equal to 7 Multiply by 5. So, magiging 5 times 3x plus y equal to 7. So, the result is 15x plus 5y is equal to 35. And, ginamita natin distributive property equations. And, the result is our equation number 3. Okay? Then, using equation number 3 and equation, and equation number 2, we cannot eliminate the y variable because our y for our equation number 3 is positive 5y and for the equation number 2 is negative 5y so we can now eliminate immediately and then add 15x plus 2x the result is 17x 35 plus 16 is 51 so 17x is equal to 51 using the property equality we will multiply both sides by 1 over 17 the result is x is equal to 3 or simply 17 over 17 Eliminate 17, x, you may 1, 51 over 17, the result is 3. So, x is equal to 3. Okay? So, to check that one, we will substitute the value of x and value of y. Okay? Both equations. So, saan galing si negative 2? Dito, sa kabila. Di ba? Yung value ni x, substitute natin sa equation number 1. Okay? Or equation number 1 is 3x plus y is equal to 7. Then, the result is negative 2. So, we can now substitute the value of x and value of y sa ating equation number 1 at sa equation number 2. Same sa ginawa natin kanina sa, sa, sa substitution method. How to check kung tama po ba yung ginawa natin. So, the result is okay. So, therefore, the solution is positive 3 and negative 2. Okay, so that's all for today. Once again, this is Mithi Chirkoy of Easy Tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.